hi to Chaco. It's happy and cash for showing a little light. So last week, this was the same finals. Happy and cash won 3-0. I spoiled it for all of you. And uh, let's see how it goes this time. Chaco drinks in full potion. <laughs> That's right. You never know what uh, can happen here in the Netherlands. Oh, what is this? So we going for the mass wyvern again? I think so. Keeper here and huntresses. So wyvern huntresses can for team Loliath. Team Cash is he going for the blade master on this map? Blade master and of course standard here for the death knight. What do we have? Is this a healing fountain? Looks like a healing fountain. I'm looking at these bubbles. Someone in my chat told me. These don't look uh, purple. Or do they? I think those are blue. It's 5 a.m. in Korea. Well, the light is always awake at this time, so... And Sawin is often awake at this time, so... Uh, it's nothing strange for them. I don't think there's tired or anything in partic particular just yet. There's the keeper. Fighting against the Acolyte. Nice entangle. Acolyte doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, should be hit point. Mana? No? I think it's hit points, but you know, I'm not very good at uh, this. I'm just learning to do it right now. Blade Master here, go for the the null. A, a spike, and there's a pause. Lag? There was some lag, yeah. Sup, Chaco? Hello, fallen hero. Uh, I like your panda. What is it? Illuminati? Illuminati tree? <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll see a panda in this game. One of the two has a lamp hanging from it. Man or healing? I forgot which one. Oh, I didn't know that. You do have the healing. I was correct. Nice, Chaco. You're so good at this. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the death knight here killing this null warden. This is a dead null warden. Oh, and tangle on this key death knight. Oh, he coils this guy, but the wisp oh, gets there in time. Two hit points on the null, and the keeper just kills it in one shot. One kill. Like an archer. Well, the blade master does scout this base, he doesn't see a barracks. He knows now for sure. Oh, they're doing this wyvern bullshit again. Always the same thing. Thing. So in low light, you cannot win with that. That's what they're saying right now to each other. They actually then don't talk to each other. At least not on uh, VoIP, but uh, or on f phone either. Death Knight did die there to the creeps. For happy, but he will be back. He will be back. He's back in 36 seconds. Even he's gonna be back so fast. Okay, well, oh, the blade master just gets in. This is a mistake. Of course, no, actually, the base is open here as well. Of course, uh, no wood is not a map happy practices on uh, every day. I don't even think it's on the Netty's ladder. So when they play two v two on Netty's ladder, much, I don't think they practice on this map at all. Of course, same map for the other team. I'm not sure if the other team practices though. The light and so in. The keeper is uh, using healing self. Blade Master here takes a lot of damage. Oh, Blade Master shows up. Can he kill him? There's uh, no mana for coil. He survives for now. Uh, are the beast tiers going up? Yes, attack. they are. Shadowhunter as well. Quite beautiful. The Death Knight here creeping with the skeletons and the fiend. Another fiend is going to be born here in a moment. Blade Master and the grunts creeping over there. Another grunt being built here for for cash. Green lantern is mana. Brown lantern is health. Oh, which lantern? Green. Uh, wait. Wait. What? What lantern? A player's forces are under attack. Oh, this thing. So is this green? Oh no, brown. Is is this brown? Okay, I guess I guess this is brown. 
on the fun and it's, uh, okay, well, okay, nice. Well, uh, I'll, I'll pay attention next time we see Norwood. Okay, Blade Master, he's just beautiful. Oh, there goes a grunt though. There goes a grunt for Happy's ally, who is uh, Cash, of course. This baby seal fiend is being focused, but we have uh, mana for one more coil. So uh, he will survive. Ooh, ooh. He should be able to swim uh, faster, you know, if he goes in the water. But for some reason, Blizzard didn't implement that. They didn't realize baby seals can swim just as fast as full grown seals. There's a grunt, there's a bestiary. We had, oh, he's going for another wyvern. He fooled me. He's going mass raiders. What the fuck? I got fooled so, so much. So I, oh, I can't believe it. Does he get uh, pillage? I'm sure he's going to get pillage. They're going to play a nice base race game. It's going to be beautiful. There's a lich. Okay, okay. Blade Master, he's just doing just fine. Zulkis, he's doing even better. Uh, Death Knight has two rings of protection. Wow. Okay, well, look at this ping. There's a ping there in the center. Uh, I'm not sure what is there. Rune Brazers is uh, is good against the Nova, I guess. But that's still level one. I'm not sure how relevant it's gonna be if they're gonna base race though. Oh, he sees all the raiders. They see it. They see all of them. But here comes a sneak attack. A sneak attack of Huntresses on the base of Cash and the raiders here. They're doing just fine. One is chicken now. Is under siege. A chicken raider. The barracks under attack. Oh, we have a raider. Maybe he's going to ensnare that raider or entangle and kill it. It's definitely what he's doing. Meanwhile, over here the raiders. You know, they're just uh, walking around. This raider's dead. And we see a retreat from Loliath. The bad rider. They were expecting the mass wyvern just like I was. <laughs> oh, Cash. You're just, you're just as foolish as I am. So we know is a step ahead, a step smarter than all of us. Going for the mass raiders and into War Mill Fortress Spirit Lodge, of course. That's, that's exactly as I expected. Here we also have uh, Ensnare being upgraded, War Mill as well. Players forces are under attack. Okay. Oh, the skeleton is dead. Is he dead? The skeleton is dead. And the raiders here, they are not dead. So, uh, so beautiful. Okay, Cash is going to creep this creep camp. Is this a new meta? Maybe. I mean, it's just a new meta until uh, you think this is the meta and then they switch it up again. Uh, raiders are creeping this uh, rock golem by themselves. No heroes are needed, apparently. Because these, these rock olives they just don't attack. They just keep ensnared and they try to retreat but they can't. And then they get ensnared again. What a beautiful... Oh, look at that slam and now he starts attacking. Stormbolts this raider. Oh, the raider is slammed as well. A skeleton scouts it though. A skeleton maybe can steal the kill. Let me go for it. We have a Tome of Agility, that's nice. And we have Potion of Divinity. Maybe not so nice. I mean, compared to what you can get, uh, it's not the worst though. But I'm not sure uh, these items, man, so hard to compare. They're like all completely different from each other. The keeper here uses the healing potion. He might have to TP here in a moment, or not just might. He will definitely have to TP here or die as a chicken. It's his choice. He chose it for himself. He could have uh, lived as a keeper, but instead he chose to die as a chicken. And we all know what happens to chickens when they die. They get eaten and they are so tasty. Death Knight buys the orb. Gives it to the Lich. Uh, some dead Huntresses. Why isn't Divinity great? I mean... It's just like, I think Post Scroll of Restoration, for example, is an item you can get there, right? Scroll of Restoration would be amazing. Potion of Divinity is just, I don't know, 25 seconds of invulnerability. Ooh, actually, you know, in off, like if he has to use it here, for example, it's just the same as a se seven second info potion. You, yeah, there he uses it. Actually, yeah. But now he stays a bit, you know, let's see how much value he gets out of this potion. 
compared to it being a 7 second one. If it was a 7 second one that you buy at the shop, he would have survived as well. He would have done like 3 less attacks on these raiders. And uh, in other words, you know, it doesn't matter how long you are invulnerable. All that matters is that you become invulnerable for a few seconds. And uh, there it is. Of course, in, in uh, some situations, like if you're playing against Nidal, for example, who's uh, playing as uh, Cyclone, that's when it really matters. But in this situation, it just doesn't really matter. Let's see what we get here. Maybe we get a better item here. For cash. I, don't know, I think it's still better than the fur box, though. Oh, look at this battle rider. Battle rider being attacked by the spears. Oh, he, is he dead? No, he survives. What a beautiful uh, survival skill there by the battle rider. 674, 68 critical strike. Another slam, but does he get the rock column? Rock column is one of the best ones because uh, A, it cannot be dispelled. Not that there is much dispel for Team Blue. And uh, B, it casts Rock uh, Hurl Boulder, which is pretty much Stormbolt, except uh, except what? Stuns a bit uh, only for two seconds instead of five. But I think, uh, you know, on Heroes, it's uh, maybe, maybe may only makes a difference over like one second or so. And it's not a spell, so I don't think, uh, you know, the Rune Bracers helped against the Hurl Boulder. And so we need to just going for the base, just as, as Cash is uh, coming back. So this is a kind of bad timing here for Serene. He does have the TP out, this uh, stronghold will stay up. He's upgrading Pillage, meanwhile over here. We have something. Oh, Huntress is dead. Of course, no chance here for Lolai to fight against Happy. The Huntresses, they don't stand a chance against the Fiends. What else is he going for? Spirit Walkers, Wyvern. Wyvern now. At least he has enough Raiders that if... Uh, if Cash decides to go for uh, these bed riders, they will be ensnared. So those wyverns should be pretty safe from the bats, but not that safe from the fiends. A player's are so I don't think it's going to be good enough. It looks like the army here for Cash and uh, Cash and Happy, just so much stronger than the army here for of Sawin and Loliat. We have an archer hiding over here. What's happening over here? Do we have a creep check? Yes. Do we see that the keeper survived this time? Oh, there might be stun. Oh, there's stun. Can he kill the keeper? Don't go for it. No, actually the stun doesn't last that long uh, on a hero. Not long enough. We have some lag spikes. I assume the players have the same thing. But it's uh, just some minor ones. There's a speed scroll. He's going to try to get this blade master with the info potion. He doesn't. Doesn't get him. Let's look at the supplies for a moment. We haven't looked at the supplies. So we're in the 76. The light at 46. Happy at 60. And cash at 50. So a bit of supply advance for Team Blue, for Team Sawin, and uh, the light for Team Korea. But the units are just stronger for Team Happy. And this fiend, uh, this wyvern is going down super fast. That's a dead wyvern. There's an impill. I want to see the, the web wyvern get impaled. I wonder how that looks like. Maybe a next impale, but it's going to take some time before he has mana for the next impale. These raiders tanking damage. We have uh, cash with a rock golem here. Uh, let's see him throw some... Oh, there's a boulder at this, uh, at this raider. These raiders are so super long hit points. They don't stand a chance. Another, a few more black spikes here. Do we see this impale? Oh, there's no more wyvern though. All the wyvern have been killed already. There's a coda here for cash as well. Well, there's no coda for the other team. He has uh, only 7 hit points though, he's about to die to something, and then what's even killing it? He's down to 2 hit points, I guess this was the Spirit Link. He went down to 2 hit points uh, because of Spirit Link. The archers can just kill him though, easy peasy. This cash uh, Kodo should have hidden in the back, but it doesn't matter anyway. GG, 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 game 1 is over. Happy here in the red is ally, cash in the red as well. He's going for a blade master, this wait. Cash is now doing the no barracks fast tech. Is he going for the wyvern? Oh, and here we have a barracks with a blade master. And his ally, of course, is going archers, maybe. So far, this looks like archers with maybe some trolls. Uh, which is a great choice, I guess, because this wisp. Oh, there's a late barracks. Never mind. He's not going for the triple bestiary build on this map. Ping. What a nice ping. Peons are the working. 
such a relaxing sound. Here come the archers, uh, wisps, I mean. Start scraping this ASAP. ASAP. A player's forces are under attack. What is this Blade Nasher going to do? What is he going to do? Only Team Yellow scouted. Only this Wisp scouted. Blade Master buys items. And he is on his way. Is he going to this creep camp? Maybe he knows. In 2 vs 2. This is what they creep. This is what Team Yellow creeps. This is what Lolite creeps. But it's too late. Oh! Oh no! No XP for the level 6. He does get the Rune Bracers. Which is... Uh, I don't even think it's... I think you just... No, sorry. I think you just sell that. I think you just sell that right now. I mean... Do you really keep this? I mean... It's useless against Orc. It is great against the Coil Nova, but... You know, it takes so long before it actually uh, matters. You have a Demon Hunter, you have Mana Burn. A level 1 Coil doesn't even matter. It only matters against a level 2 Coil. And Nova, and only when it targets your hero that has the rune bracers. So you might as well just, I think, just selling it is just a smarter move. It's 200 gold, guys. 200 gold. But I'm not sure. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. I don't know. I, I think people are just used to keeping this, of course, if you're playing against them that. But I feel like in this situation here, in this 2 versus 2, when one of your opponents is just uh, Orc. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. There's a coil on the archer. Look, the archer doesn't have rune bracers. Archer dies. There's a mana burn. And this blade master here takes a lot of damage from this blade master and this demon hunter. Okay, this uh, this try this how do you call it? Fiend is being focused. He's running for his life. The blade master is healing. A player's forces are under his attack. forces are under attack. This uh, first of shadow priest here, bought by Sawin is under attack okay so happy is attacking as normal same here for his ally cash same here for sween and same here for loliat who is building a hunter's hall so we do we will see ancient of lords and no ancient of winds i really think Against the orc in that combination. I mean, I just want to see. I want to see some angel wins. I want to see how they perform. But everyone just going for those dryads. Angel war creeping over here. So you are grubby. Is that how it works? Everyone in the Netherlands is uh, grubby. Only 47 damage of spell uh, to a hero. Three point three times seven is what? That's um, I don't know, man. Twenty one, twenty four or something. I don't know. I can do math, but it's uh. 23 I guess Okay 47% I mean it's it's nice but you know The Death Knight By the time the Death Knight is level 3 and we have a Lich Oh we have actually Death Knight level 3 and a Lich This game could have been decided already So many of the games especially if he sold this item And he had this 200 extra gold I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's worth keeping in 2 vs 2 because, you know, uh, if, if the opponent's team know the Demon Hunter has this item, they can just focus the Panda. They can just focus the Blade Master. There's so many other heroes they can focus first. In 1 vs 1, it makes a lot of sense. 2 vs 2 just doesn't. But, you know, I don't, I'm not sure of it. I'm just saying. You definitely want to think about it. Blade Master is almost level 3. A greater mana potion gives it to the Shadow Hunter. He is level one. Jojo Head Shrinker. Yoshara is almost level three. The Death Knight here is he's, he's doing just great. Demon Hunter and the Panda killing this uh, level five with Kesha. Ring protection plus three. And a, uh, the Summer Mask maybe give it to the Panda. But here comes uh, here comes uh, Kesha. Of course, we need to TP out here. Force of Shadow Priest is 
taking a lot of damage, but he survives. A lot of creeping going on so far. Oh, but what's this? Illusion? No, it's a... Uh, it, there, there's a lich there, guys. You over here, the Death Knight. Gets uh, Scourge Bone Chimes. It's gonna be great for his ally, of course. So much grubby hype. Is grubby the next prime minister in the Netherlands? Uh, he, he doesn't want to, but yeah, I mean, everyone's uh, selecting him. There's a TP out for Happy with a level 4 Death Knight. Quite beautiful. The light here creeping over here, of course. Why does he still have the Sobi Mask on the Demon Hunter? Well, because the panda doesn't... Maybe the mask doesn't fit the panda. Maybe the mask is too small. Look, the Demon Hunter has a small face. The panda has a huge face. Uh, no way they can fit the same mask. Maybe just the Demon Hunter uh, likes the way it looks at his face. The panda doesn't. I don't know, but, you know, I would... Oh, he gives it to the panda after all. Okay, nice. Now the panda will, will get uh, some more mana regeneration. That's beautiful. Level 2 panda. I, I know the panda has very low IQ, so it's actually... Uh, doesn't doesn't give him that much mana. But, the, I mean, the Demon Hunter was full mana. Anyway, so... Yeah, here comes the Blade Master. He's going for the Lich. Oh, Lich in trouble! There's a coil on the Lich. Lich no longer in trouble. Uh, Blade Master definitely got the XP there. Uh, maybe not, actually. <laughs> And the item also went to happy. Sobi mask. It's a pretty good item. A lot of creeping. This is such a beautiful game it's with so much creeping. Oh, there's a piggy there. Let's look at the supplies. Probably everyone is around 50. So win is not at 50 yet. Uh, Serene over here. He's not at fi he's getting a Kodo. Okay, Serene is now going to 50. Happy is not at 50 yet, but I mean, Happy is the uh, on that player here. So he attacks. He does have the orb. So he has everything he needs. Everyone is pretty much at 50. Let's look at the hero levels. Team uh, Cash. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We have an attack. Okay, never mind. I think uh, most heroes are level, you know. Three or two, only the Demon Hunter is low. Uh, the, not Demon Hunter, Death Knight is level four. The mana burn on the Shadow Hunter. Skull being focused by the Dryads, of course. Here comes a flank attack by Happy. What is he going for? Look, he's nuking the Demon Hunter. I guess the Rune Bracers weren't good enough anyway. Uh, he did have the, <laughs> he did nuke the hero with the Rune Bracers, so that was good. But uh, you know, he died anyway. This uh, Shadow Hunter here is, is TPing out. So. Uh, First all, Berserker goes down. And uh, that was just a beautiful, uh, you know. Wait, how did he TP out when he lost the Demon Hunter? Did he have another uh, TP on the Panda? I guess he just had the TP on the Panda. Expansion going up for cash. Immediately after that fight, it was a great fight. No way to creep the panda to level 3. Well, um, where the panda again? There's this green camp. Maybe that's enough. Uh, I, I don't want to do the math. It is enough. No, it's not enough. It's 1 XP off. 1 XP off from level 3. We have an expansion. No. What? This guy is going for an expansion. Kodo though. The Kodo is dead. Oh, we have a fight. Dryads and panda against Shadowhunter and Grunts and Raiders. Where's the Blade Master over here? He didn't die, right? No. Cash Blade Master is alive somewhere. There he is. And with the Blade Master, the Panda doesn't stand a chance. He wants a level 3. He will get the level 3. Actually, he might have a chance because this Orc army is just two Raiders and a bunch of Grunts. So even though there are heroes here are so much stronger for Cash because there's no Demon Hunter, uh, you know, the Panda here can just kill these units with the Breath of Fire. Even though there is Scourge Bone Chimes, these Raiders super long hit points. Next Breath of Fire is going to be insane. Meanwhile, we have uh, Happy just killing the main here of Sawin. Look at those raiders, the panda and the, the drives just killing everything. And here's his uh, friend helping him out. Sawin on his way. Happy, you know, he's, he's just, you know, doing what he wants. Oh, the raiders have been killed. 
He's ready now, going for the main. There's a TP in. TP in for Happy. And Happy by himself can win the two against one. This easy peasy, man. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Without the fire. There's Raider. Oh, there's no more Raiders for. Oh, there's a Raider again for Cash. He's a bit, uh, a bit behind. There's his expansion, by the way. This expansion is almost up. Oh, the Kodo, the Kodo is going to die. He's dead. Okay, quick, let's look at the supply. So, uh, Happy 56 is allied for 34 cash. So, total, they have 90 supply. The other team also 90 supply. 50 and 40. So, equal in supply. Hero levels are like up. Uh, Happy has 4 and 3. So, we need 3 and 2. The other heroes are all level 3. So, a bit more XP for Team Happy. Two more hero levels, and the death light is even almost level five, so it's not a small difference. It's a big difference. Oh, the statue gets around it though, but it doesn't matter. Like, oh, it doesn't matter. The TP's out. Does the statue survive even? No, no way, right? No, yes, he survived with seven hit points, or six even, and uh, he's still alive. We've seen attack going all the way across the map. It won't do any damage here, but it will land here somewhere. We have a fight over there, but I want to see this attack do no damage. There it is. Uh, here is the demon hunter and the panda again with the master eyes. Cash cannot really hold on. It's like uh, like Happy is playing one versus two, and Cash is just you know dying to the dryads. And you know there's a mana burn. The raider goes down. This panda is so strong. He's almost level four. This raider better run. Coil on the spirit walker. Over here we have five peons mining gold. And is Happy TPing in? I assume so, yeah. Ah! You, re you know what this expansion is for? This expansion is to support Happy in buying TP. So he can TP from base to base. Uh, fighting this game, one versus two. <laughs> that's, that's what all this extra gold is for. Okay, Cash is going to defend this. Of course he uh, has a chance here fighting against the, against the Ween. Against the Orc. I mean, it's a 40 supply and 40 actually. Both orc players are just uh, 40 supply. Well, forces uh, so we not. Now that means uh, so we and low light are actually together. Can happy actually win this? What is this thing? <laughs> actually win this two versus one? I guess not. There, if one fiend does go down, he does TP out. Well, uh, Cash is going for the base of so we. The fiend survives with two hit points. So many clutch saves there by Happy with those TPs. This one doesn't have uh, wisps in it yet. Here comes Cash. Does he have pillage? He has a lot of lumber. Now, who has a lot of lumber? Sweet has a lot of lumber. There's a TP in, there's a TP out. And here we have Low Light again, but this time Happy is close by. Oh, there's still some Nulls over here. The Raiders start with the Panda, but the Panda has a TP. Maybe don't. I mean, you know, okay. Uh, Panda is TPing out. This Raider almost uh, survives. I mean, he survives. Beautiful hit and this game. So many TPs used. Blade Master gonna harass a bit by himself. Of course, he has level 2 Windwalk. Can he kill some Acolytes? His Acolyte is. He's dead. 86 critical strike. This acolyte is running. Doesn't want to die, but the blade master doesn't even want to kill him anyway. He's going to the other base. He knows his ally is over here. You know what? The shadow hunter is the hero with the TP. Oh, blade master going to kill some peons over here. There's no burrow to save them. This raider is taking us a lot of damage. Here comes Happy though. Happy with his ally, Cash. Going to kill whatever is left over here, but they will lose a lot. They will lose the peons over here and the burrows. They will lose the peons over here and even maybe the main over here. Like, let's see uh, what's gonna happen. It's a nice base race. Who's gonna TP? Is anyone going to TP? Happy is TPing to his allies base. The peons so low on hit points. The peons are all dead. I'm not even sure if we can save this base. Hey. Panda TP's out. The base will be saved for now. These peons are all dead. 
Cash, cash. Also TP it home. To the fat. Oh, the baby still blade master. Can he kill it? He does have an info potion. There's a snare. He's surrounded, but uh, use the info potion. Not a dust used on the blade master. It's a hu blade master hunting party, guys. Is a chicken blade master now? He is probably dead, right? Is there false nova? There it is. He's dead. Well, the panda and the demon hunter sitting over here with a bunch of dryads. The dryads are one zero upgraded. You know, over here we have a shadow hunter. What's oh, the wisp? Someone kill the wisp. Blade master goes for it. 117 critical strike. With like a two hit point wisp. These these peons are so dead. Are they dead? No, they're not dead. Okay, so we're going for Happy's base. The light going for Cash's base. And uh, here we have Happy TPing home after killing some more peons. And uh, trying to kill some units, but the Shadow Hunter TPs out. And here we have uh, someone killing a lot of dryads. It's Cash, in fact. And uh, what is this? Death Knight? Death Knight stopping to his ally. Coiling the Demon Hunter. Look, this, this ruined racers. Uh, give, getting some value again, but he dies after all. And the panda, panda doesn't have a TP. Did the demon hunter have? Did he try to give the TP to the demon hunter and did he die? This is horrible. This is so bad here for Loliath. Losing so much that he shouldn't have lost. Besides the demon hunter, he's uh, losing dryads. There's another ensnare. Does he have one more? This dryad here is dead. This dryad here is also dead. Ah, these three dryads surviving with minimal hit points is pretty nice though. Cuts are one to upgrade it for uh, for cash. There's zero zero for Sawin. Sawin just going for his main. Happy has two zero on his fiends. Nice frost nova on these raiders. It was uh, there's some healing though. He's trying to get his main. He cannot get it. He has to TP out. The coil. Another raider here is dead. Strides are two and zero. Look, there's a secret path in the back of the base here. A of Loliath. Are under attack. It's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Blade Master is uh he finds the dryads. His dryads are all being killed. There's no demon hunter again, but let's see. Last time Loliath still did great here with just a panda and dryads, and it seems like the same thing is happening again. These uh these raiders just are not that great. There's another breath of fire. Now he's out of mana. And he used the heal scroll to save his uh, dryads a little bit. And again, it seems like the like he just doesn't need the demon hunter to fight his army of cash. Just the panda and mass drives is good enough. Grant is so dead. Oh, oh, he did finally build a burrow here. So uh, if it gets harassed by a blade master, he can at least save some um, peons. The Death Knight soft to his ally. With the level 3 death knight here, it's gonna be different. The panda doesn't have a TP or anything to save himself. What is he doing? Why didn't he have anything? He dies, of course. There's a uh, Serene. Serene showing up. Too late to save the panda of his ally. Uh, yeah, panda of his ally. Stride here takes a healing wave, so she's just fine. Level 3 shadow hunter is just so beautiful. But if he's if he dies, well, there's another hero on his way. There he is. The Shadow Hunter, of course, did die. Demon Hunter did have that TP, by the way. He's level 4 now. And uh, this raider is Michael back. There's a mana burn on the Blade Master for 73. This Grunt here takes a lot of damage. This Grunt is dead. There's a mana burn for 10. All oh, these tries dying so much. These Grunts are dead as well. Look, Let's look at the supplies at this point. 60 and 6. <laughs> so he needs a 6 supply. I guess he lost um, a lot when Happy was attacking his base. He has 3 peons. That's it. So he now 3 supply. He's pretty much dead. Uh, while Loliath is at 60. Cash at 37. Happy at 54. It looks over for Team Loliath. GG even. A GG by Loliath and Soin. That's 2 0, guys. Blue against uh, red. That's uh, epic color. Such a epic color uh, matchup here. Blue against red. 
It's gonna be insane. This is going to be insane. Is this the biggest tournament Happy participated in the last years? It's definitely one of the biggest. I mean, I'm not sure if it's uh, bigger or smaller than some of the others. Chaco finally long stream like before. It's because uh, it's because we have uh, games, you know, <laughs> because we're watching this tournament. Okay, we have a TC first here for Cash. He's going for the guns. This is the first time he does this against these opponents. I can't remember. No, Wood, he played Blade Master, right? So yeah, I think this is the first time we see Cash against against the Wien and Low Light going for the TC grunts. Of course, here forces are under attack. We have a graveyard. Okay, very standard. Slow Death Knight for Happy. So Wien with the TC as well. I guess this is just a map to go TC on, and of course we have a keeper here with the uh, sand towers. Does he have one already? Yes, there's one. And here's the next one. Double sand tower with the keeper is just so much damage, right? You entangle something and you have these two sand towers, they just, they outrun any, anyone. And they, uh, especially outrun you if you're entangled. They just start hitting you with their axes. Their axes are pretty big. Look at these axes. You don't want to be hit by that. Personally, I would die in one hit. Uh, but some of these units are a bit tougher than me. They don't die in one hit. The TC also has a pretty big axe. So, you know, he does a lot of damage as well. A player's forces are under attack. Okay. Okay, the sand towers against the TC. Axe fight, guys. Everyone has these axes. He's, uh... Beautiful axes. Oh, he's going for the Voodoo launch. Interesting choice. Voodoo launch is going to be cancelled. That means no healing cells for cash for a while. There are healing fountains on this map though. This one takes a lot of damage. Of course, the sand towers can also heal the healing fountains. Oh, is he gonna lose the sand tower? 24 hit points. No, and he doesn't even cancel the Voodoo launch. Wow. TC over here creeping. Also being hunted down by sand towers, but these are creep sand towers. Oh, healing salves, of course. Healing salves on the sand towers. That's that's smart. But here comes Happy, and he doesn't like those healing salves. He starts by canceling the one on the TC. He doesn't have any healing salves anymore. He does have slippers of agility, and he's building a second barracks. He's going to the stronghold, double barracks, and the war mill. Over here we we have solo barracks, tier one for cash. What is Soin doing? So we guess his ally is feeding him, so he can go mass runs. Town is under siege. Or maybe he was. I don't know. I see some creeping going on. I mean, at tier two you can get the berserker strength. Oh, he's going for headhunters. Is he going for mass berserkers or something? What is this play? I guess with the TC, maybe with, with the level 2 stomp, the Berserkers are stronger against the Grunts. Maybe. Someone is going to kill this Outrunner. It is the Death Knight. Not sure what item he got there, but he got one of these items. Probably Gloss of Haste. TC is uh, almost level 2. The Berserker is so dead. You know, TC over here creeping as well. He's also level 2. Oh, can we stomp this guy and surround him? I think so. But, oh, he gets entangled. So, it's uh, just with grunts. And he gets away. Wow. What a night. Oh, does he get away? For a unit surround is pretty difficult. This grunt is going to block him, though. There's another entangle on this TC. But, there's a... Okay, there's a TP out. The keeper does survive. The player's forces are under attack. Um, where are the outrunners actually? Where are they? It's been a while since I saw them. Wait, here they are. Okay. So the light stays at tier one. He's going mass hunters. His ally is going for mass berserkers with a bestiary for a Kodo, of course, or two. What an interesting strategy here by Team Suin. Well, here we have Cash. 
He's just doing a, uh, you know, a slow tag with a war mill. And happy doing a, uh, not a fast tag, but uh, compared to the other play people in this game, he's tagging fast. Okay, not as fast as Serene. Players forces are under attack. Because Captain, okay, this creep is gonna be creeped here. As Serene, of course. Stomp. <laughs> These headhunters, they, they throw little spears. It's quite beautiful. What is this? Ring protection, slippers of agility. Uses a speed scroll so you can pick up one more item. Kills the uh, the other item. Many of health. The TC is level 2. Death Knight level 2. The keeper still level 1. Still 0 XP, guys. 0. Only this TC here for Serene is super high on XP. And here come the Headhunters. Of course, Headhunters do uh, a great job killing this Burrow with the Spears. There goes the Burrow. Spions are running. Uh, over here we have Loliath just, uh, you know, distracting Happy. Happy wants to kill Loliath. And a TP out here. After Does he get the Burrow? He does get the Burrow. TP's out. Is he at forces yet? Not yet. Keeper has no more TP. DC, no more TP. He needs a speed scroll. Buys one. Has a code out now, though. A player's forces are under attack. Fiends here are 1 0. Guns are 0 0. So let's look at the supply. Happy at 43, cash at 37. So they're like 80 supply. The other team is at 90 actually, 50 and 40. And the tech is, uh, okay, we have a bit more attacking of course here for team cash. Because Happy is going to Black Citadel. Cash is at Stronghold. Well, we see a light still at the Tree of Life. So we is at Fortress, but so we is, uh, has attacked the fastest. So maybe they can do some timing attack here with the Berserkers and the Kodo upgrade. These Berserkers will do so much damage. They're already 2-0 upgraded. Skeleton scouting. There's a shockwave. The level 7 Ogre Lord against the TC. Who wins this? Well, the TC wins. He's level 3. The list is now level 2 as well. What item do we get? Helm of Failure. Um, you know, not that great. Not that great. I don't like this item with these heroes. A lot of other items would have been so much better. What do we have here? Potion of Info. Lich will pick it up. Over here, what did we get over here? Wait, is this the same creep item? Forces are under attack. How come he gets Ketgar's uh, Gem of Health? It's a completely different level item. Hello. I don't know this map. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Is it just a different creep camp over here than over here? Why do we have a Catcar's Gem of Health over here? And uh, Helm of Failure at the bottom, ri uh, bottom right. I don't know. Those are the same creep camps. Did I what what item does it normally drop? Did did uh, did he get it from somewhere else or something? I don't don't I don't know. Maybe they sold the item already real fast. There's no shop nearby. I think it's kind of weird. Players forces are under attack. Okay, well, here comes the attack. Team Loliath shows up. TC gets entangled. Stomps like two berserkers. Uh, of course, Serene. Oh, loses those two berserkers. 
So we, by the way, is at 55 supply. Lolai at the 44. The other team at 54 and 50. There's a speed score of Frost Nova on these uh, Berserkers. Koyo only kills one. This Kodo takes so much damage. This Kodo is it going to die. Maybe. Meanwhile, we have an attack here by Loliath. This stronghold is going down. This guy is doing a lot of damage with their little axe. Stronghold is taking a lot of damage. But there's a TP out because, you know, it's not enough. Not enough damage. It takes too long <laughs> to kill with the Huntresses. The Burrows just defending very nicely. Do ha not have the orb yet for Happy, by the way. He's a Black Citadel, but without the orb. Expansions are preventing the skeleton was scouted. Well, the skeleton is going for this wisp. Players' forces are under attack. This wisp is about to die. Oh, he detonates! Nice detonate. The berserkers do a lot of damage. Plus seven damage with three one upgraded. Do we have an impel, by the way? No. Yes, we have the impel guy, and we have the orb now. Meanwhile, we have an attack here. Huntresses and two centaurs. Actually, this is not really that dangerous. They should. They're just going for the counter attack. Like these guys, they don't kill buildings fast enough. Maybe the slaughterhouse will go down. Who cares? They can kill this entire base. And uh, so we cannot defend even with level 5 TC. TP's in. So does his ally, though. Oh. So it is. Oh. The Death Knight is surrounded here by Huntress. So Illusion Huntress is uh, being made there to make sure he keeps being surrounded. TC level 5 stomps. So TP out for uh, Team Happy. But does do all the fiends TP? Yes. And the TC also TPs out, of course. We have a bottom here for Loliath to help all these guys. They do now plus 10 damage with the bottom aura. That's so much damage. Huntresses are, uh, have one armor upgrade. 36 to 52 damage, guys. And then they can use their, uh, their ability to attack 50% faster. And then they attack pretty fast for a lot of damage. And the TC level 3 uh, stomp is just... Stomping everyone. Uh. Uh. Force Nova on the sand tower. Okay, here's a level 2 stomp, and there's a level 3 stomp. Look, even the Kodo over there got stomped. Level 3 stomp is insane range and insanely long. Everything is stomped there in the blue. The Berserkers here in the back uh, are being killed, though, even though they use their... Uh, even though they do so much damage. Actually, the Priestess is all the way on the right side. They don't get the aura bonus of the Priestess, only this guy here on the right. Uh, some nice, more beautiful stomps. There's a beautiful stomp, but he takes a lot of damage. He has the Katakar's Gem of Health. I'm not sure that's, uh, you know, gonna protect him. Use the info potion. And the Shadow Hunter TPs out. TPs out. The Keeper just uh, runs home. Expansion here, as with the Ancient of War there. So, uh, Team Blue, Team Cash, and Happy there will have to defend. Ancient of War is gonna eat a tree. He sits down. So let's look at the supplies here for a moment. Uh, actually, before I look at the supplies, we see another expansion here for Loliat. So Team Sawin has 50 and 55 supply, 105 supply in total. Team Happy has 62 and 48. That's 110 supply in total. Five supply lead for Team Happy, but that doesn't mean very much. I mean that's uh, pretty close. Do have the burrow upgraded now. The berserkers are uh, still three and two. Cook. 
Oh, and there's a Razor Man Medicine Man. Razor Main. <laughs> Razor Main Medicine Man. He can cast Healing Wars. He can also cast Piggies. He can actually cast Piggies. Uh, he summons two little cute Piggies. They're kind of like... Uh, they're very weak and they give XP, so no one ever actually uses those. But it's pretty cute. It's really cute. He's like a piggy himself. So, uh, it's the attack of the piggies. Here comes the level 4 TC with the frost armor. He looks pretty scary. And he stomps and he makes sure the, the TC is stomped there from the other side. Stom oh, these berserkers use their berserk ability, so the stomp is very beautiful there. Here we have a stomp on the fiends. Level 3 stomp, there it is. There's the healing ward from the, the uh, razor main. This guy here. He's a melee unit, so he's uh, attacking the berserkers. The Kodo here is uh, just fine. This Kodo here is, uh, is important. There's only one blue Kodo. There's two red Kodos. They are both low on hit points, though. One goes down and TP out for the red team again. And uh, the Priestess and the Keeper retreating. Death Knight, he, uh, he buys the invul, I mean, a uh, protection scroll and healing scroll. Forty-eight supply and sixty-nine. This expansion is almost up. Not scouted yet by Team Blue, but this expansion is, and this expansion is going down. A player's forces are under attack. What are they doing? Oh, sappers. Okay. This expansion is also going down. Unless one sapper kills another sapper, please. Please, Michael, your sappers. Okay. Next one. <laughs> this one isn't even needed. Hello. <laughs> okay, he has one sapper. <laughs> What's he going to do with that one sapper? This tree of life is dead. Meanwhile, over here we see Sawin uh, fighting against Cash in the base there. Nice stomp. Uh, these berserkers killing some burrows and TPing out. Okay. This TC is uh, beautiful. The sapper, guys. The sapper. Uh, okay, there's not much you can. Oh, he kills the Rager Man. Use the sapper on the shop. Gets out. Happy's army, of course, still scary. We have an expansion here for Lolite as well. They're just massing expansions everywhere. This one is going to rebuild an expansion. Uh, this expansion might go down here very soon, though. There's no way. Uh, can he defend this? Can Sawin defend this? Sawin, Sawin's army is like 45 supply. Cassius is 43. I think he has a chance with level 5 uh, TC and level 2 Shadowhunter against only a solo level 4 uh, TC. Definitely can defend. This this base is definitely going down. This base is going up, of course. And uh, the Light decides to help his ally defend this base. But the TC TPs out. Stomp on the grunts, making sure to keep his uh, tree alive. <laughs> tree alive. Tree of life alive. Uh, this fiend. Is entangled. He's going to die, to die in a moment. This one is going to be ensnared once he can. Right. Interesting that Happy just sends a statue here with uh, with Cash. So Cash also has the benefits of a statue. There's TP of Happy, and Happy's army, of course, so scary with the Crypt Lord, with the Lich, with the everything. With uh, oh, a nice stomp. This ghoul finds this. Lol, uh, Lolai <laughs> finds the tree of life. The death knight is surrounded. The death knight is surrounded. He will have to TP or use the info potion because the priestess of the moon does have to TP out. Okay, uh, Cash killing this man again. This time, Sawin is uh, over here, so he cannot defend the base. Tree of Life is dead. Whisper dying. Cool is killing this Tree of Life. I mean, this uh, this army is not a really good army to attack on that base with. He TP's in, he TP's out. The Kodo goes down. We'll have to rebuild this Kodo. It's an important Kodo. 20% damage Kodo. Oh, this cool won't kill the expansion apparently. Even if the hunters just didn't kill him, the expansion would be able to defend himself and kill the ghoul. He uproots. Is he going to hide? Maybe eat some trees? Maybe he's gonna sit down over here? I don't know. Maybe just on the left side. 
is over here. Here comes Happy though, and Happy, I mean, 3-0 on the Fiends. He can beat any army, one on one. Maybe, maybe not one versus two. Where's Kasha even? Oh, here he is. He's healing at the healing fountain. So he kills a peon. That's a dead peon. He's going into the base. These peons are probably also dead. Is he gonna use a stomp on them? No. I mean, peons, they just keep working anyway. Here's Cash. He's gonna defend. He also has a level 5 TC now, right? So level 3 stomps against level 3 stomps. There's one level 3 stomp. Look how many berserkers are hit there. And the grunts are just fine against the berserkers. Oh, the TC though. Is a level 5 TC for Cash going to die? He has the info potion, but he's hexed. He's a hexed chicken. He's a dead TC now. Is this is this the loss still for Cash? Can they still lose? Happy TB's in. Happy, of course. He is gonna kill everyone. He's ang angry like a like a fancy piggy. Uh, some nukes on the keeper. He still stays alive. There's some healing as well. Can Team Happy still win this fight even without the TC? Uh, I think so, <laughs> yeah, and everyone thinks so, so Wing is out, he doesn't have much Berserkers left, he's down to 4 Berserkers. And the TC, uh, he's gonna buy him back from the tavern, because he's not building him from the altar. Not sure if he has the money, he has uh, 900 gold, yeah, he has the money. I think he will come back from the tavern. There's expansion up and mining again. This uh, expansion is almost up. All these... Birdies, so annoying. The destroyers eats them though. They eat the birdies. I wonder if they actually taste like meat because they're like uh, transparent. This fiend got entangled. Oh, nice stomp there. Hits all the grunts. A level 3 crit lord. There's. Oh, no. Decent appeal. Hit like 4, four units and 2 heroes. These uh, fiends are micro back. Of course, we have the coder here for cash as well. He's uh, hungry. There's no. No TC. Oh, the coil missed the fiend. Wow, there's a TC, he's back guys, he used a mana potion, which he still had, he's hexed now, uh oh, is he being focused, no, no one cares about his TC, now he stomps, and uh, these hunters all died, so, so they retreated, and is this going to be a GG here, or is this, it, are, is Team Red still going to try to win this game, because Sawin and Lolite, super far ahead guys, I mean, not, not ahead, I mean, they're ahead in losing, so in other words, super far behind, they're losing, even though they have the expansion, Let's look at the supplies for a second. Happy 61, Cash 45, together 105. Sawin 26, Lolai 35, together 51, right? Happy can literally win a one versus two now. Literally. There's a Death Knight. The Death Knight can just win this fight against by himself. Could just keep throwing coils. Actually, he's kind of out of mana. Uh, he could coil the Keeper, force a TP. Or maybe he just kills him if he's too late with the TP. Coil on the keeper would uh, he doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to force the TP I guess. He wants to kill the other units. <laughs> a few of the peons do go down. Doesn't want to waste his mana either I guess. Oh he finds a uh, hunter's though. Nice impale. The hunter's is dead. Over here the Kodo dies. Nice pick off there by Sawin. He's now going for this TC. The TC the TC for Sawin is almost level uh, six. This. Just this perma stun hex is just insane. This TC dies again, maybe? Yes, he dies again. And we have a level 6 TC here for Zuin. He is surrounded, but he is level 6. Doesn't. Uh, well, let's see. Doesn't matter, because even if he dies, he can just be killed again here by this uh, happy army, of course. And uh, he is going to die here. And then he's going to come back, and he's going to die again. There's just nothing he can do about it. Okay, he's going to TP. Never mind. Just TP. There it is. <laughs> it would be funny if he TP too early, but that's not going to happen. He TP's out. Quite beautiful, but uh, at least the ultimate is now on the cooldown. Four minute cooldown. Four minute, 240 seconds? That's four minutes, yes. Four minute cooldown. We still have the third base up the so, though. So three bases against... Well, three bases. Okay. And Happy is just going to kill someone again. He's just going to kill... Maybe he's going to Sawin's base. He doesn't even need cash. Cash can do whatever he wants. He can lose his TC again. Happy can win this game literally one uh, by himself. One versus two. Acolyte scouting over there. 
However, Happy's, play, uh, Happy's Union is not a great at killing buildings, of course. Cassie's units are much better with the Grunts with uh, Endurance Aura level 2. Oh, the mains are out of gold. There's one base against one base. So if this uh, main goes down, this this Tree of Life is, is 1 against 0, of course. This Tree of Life is going down. Uh, Acolyte! Mr. Acolyte died! Huntresses, the light coming in with the Huntresses. Killing some peons. Uh, this is all the only gold, only mining base here for Team Happy and Cash. So if you can kill all these Huntresses, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be great. Meanwhile, over here, Happy. Does he have a TP? Uh, TC has a TP. Happy does not have a TP. And Cash by himself is probably not strong enough to win this one against two. So Happy's gonna buy a TP here. There it is. Uh, but the tunnel has been killed. So there's no. Oh, Shredder, Scout's over here. So does the Acolyte. Tree of Eter uh, Ages is on his way though. And this Acolyte Scout might not be able to. No, he sees it, right? I think he's, he's seen it. I'm not sure actually. It is daytime. Uh, you can see pretty far during the daytime, but I'm not sure if they see that far. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he saw it. There's an owl. <laughs> well, we saw a few more owls earlier as well, but this owl is like a different Players owl. It's a green owl. Attack. It cannot be eaten. Oh, the Kodo eats a grunt though. Talking about eating. He's level, uh, high level TCs. Look at the hex and then snare and everything and stomp. He, they won't let this TC use his stomp because they know it's too strong. But the Invul Potion! And now we see some uh, cash stomps as well. Meanwhile, Happy is just killing everything. Happy just doesn't care. He just is killing. He, he, he doesn't... He doesn't even think about losing this game. Look at this impale on all these berserkers and the shadow hunter. The shadow hunter is totally dead because Happy wanted him dead. And that stomp, that stomp, I think killed like four berserkers. Uh, there's a TC. He's dead as well. I don't think he has the reincarnation. No, no he's dead. And this Kodo is entangled. GG WP. GG GG. Everyone GG's out. GG guys. And that means that it's a 3 0. Uh, yeah, the fines are over. 3-0 for Happy and Cash. They win. They win a bit over $100 in Rubbles, of course. Congratulations.